Hello, this is Britt Caswell with another example video. In this video, I'm going to be covering example 3 in section 2-2 from the Savas Realize Algebra 1 textbook. In this video, we are looking at sketching a graph of a linear equation in point-slope form. And so what I want to do is give you a procedure so that you know how to do it. So the first step is to identify and plot the point. Okay, so if ever we are graphing a line, you always want to have a certain point that you find first. Okay, it's going to be some kind of ordered pair, x, y, and then you are going to plot it on the point, or on the coordinate plane. Once you have identified and plotted the point, you're going to use the slope to find a second point. And then our last step will be to connect with a line. You can also plot additional points if you want. I, I might do that. Um, additional points. And then connect with the line. I find that having um, I find that having more points makes it a lot easier to, to draw a straight line. And it makes my graph more accurate. Alrighty, so for this first example, we need to identify and plot the point. So just a reminder, point slope form is usually written out in this way where m is the slope, and then the ordered pair x1, y1 is the point that's given to you. Now, just a heads up, do you see how it's being subtracted in our formula? That means that the actual ordered pair is the value being subtracted from these, from these parentheses. And what that looks like is it's going to look like we're flipping the signs. So for example, y1 is the number being subtracted from y. So if I look at my equation, the number being subtracted from y is 3. Here on the left where they have x plus 1, I need to break that into x minus negative 1. So what number is being subtracted from x? negative 1 is. So notice that my ordered pair appears as if I've, I've flipped the signs, so to speak. And then to identify my slope, that's the number here in front of the set of parentheses. My slope is negative 2 thirds. And so now we are ready to go to graph this line. So step one is to identify and, identify and plot our point. So I identified negative 1, 3. So that means I go back 1 on the x-axis and up by 3. And remember, if we put a point on a graph, we usually want to label it. Step number 2 says to use the slope to find a second point. So our slope here is negative 2 thirds. That means that as I'm going to the left, or sorry, going from the left to the right on the graph, I'm going to be going downhill. My, gra my line will look something like this. So this says I'm going to fall by 2 and then run by 3. Okay, so using that, that gives me the point 2, comma 1. Now that is enough to officially draw my, my line. But if you notice, my, my graph kind of goes pretty far out. So I'm going to use that same slope to fall 2 and run 3 again so that I'm here at 2. Um, 5, negative 1, and I can use it to go this way as well. All right, so right here, I'm at negative 4, 5. And so now, do you see how I have a bunch of points to help me guide my line? So it helps to have multiple points to help you um, connect kind of all these dots. Now remember, lines continue on for forever, 
So when we do draw a line, we want to make sure to add these arrows on the end to tell the person looking at our graph that, yeah, this, this line goes on for forever. All right, let's go ahead and let's try another example. So from our procedure, remember we need to identify and plot our point. So for my x1 value, I need to look at what number is being subtracted from x. 3 is being subtracted from x, so I'm going to put that there. For my y1 value, it's what number is being subtracted from y. So I can change this to saying y minus negative 2 to find the negative 2, or just remember to flip the signs. So I'm going to plot that 3, negative 2. So I go to the right by 3 and down by 2. The second step says to use your slope, in this case our slope is 1 half, to mark an additional point. So this is saying from this point I rise by 1 and I run by 2. So this point is at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 1. All right, and I can keep finding additional points, right? I can, I can follow the pattern. I'm not going to label them all because I'm kind of lazy right now. But as long as I've labeled two of the points, we are good to go with, uh, with drawing our line. All right, and then step number three. Step number three is the line step. So I'm going to take each of these points and I'm going to do my darndest to draw a line through them all. And remember to put my little arrows on the end to remind my, my graph viewer that that line goes on for forever. And that's it. That's example three on sketching the graph of a linear equation in point-slope form. Until next time!